Knuckle Magab, everybody. It's time for a track by track album battle. Before I get started, I know I'm going to get these questions. I don't know where I got this shirt. This killer Eric Carr Animal Eyes era shirt. I think I got it on my Facebook feed. I'm not sure. I answer the questions because I always get these questions where'd you get that shirt? I'm putting up Paul Stanley, the solo album. Don't like it that much. I know a lot of you do. A lot of you think it's the best of the solo albums. I don't. Against Analyze. I'm not a fan of this one either, but if I was to pick which one I like more, I'd go with this one. So let's do this, shall we? All right, here we go. Uh, Tonight You Belong to Me versus I've Had Enough Into the Fire. Man, that's not good. Tonight You Belong to Me is my favorite song off this album. I've Had Enough is my favorite song off Animal Eyes. And I know which one I'm picking. Animal Eyes. Kind of a bummer. I don't want it to be a complete shut up, but it looks like it might be that now. Ooh. This might get zero. And I'm telling you right now, before I get into this, I'm going to be picking horrible songs over a horrible song, in my opinion. Because Analyze has some really bad songs. And this one does too, so. It's gonna, I, I always hate when I have to pick a shitty song. <laughs> Alright, Move On versus Heaven's on Fire. I don't like Move On. I like Heaven's on Fire. I know it's the hit, but I never had a problem with that song. I've always liked that song. So I'm giving it to Heaven's on Fire. All right, then we got Ain't Quite Right versus Burn, Bitch, Burn. Oh, you know, I said it before and I'll say it again. Ain't Quite Right, it's like, it's a good tune, but there's something off about it, in my opinion. I feel like the song ain't quite right. But uh, Burn, Bitch, Burn is just so ridiculously bad, it's fucking terrible. I'll definitely give, I'm giving it to Paul. Paul's not going to be a complete shutout. So there you go. Paul gets one. Oh, uh, wouldn't you like to know me? Terrible song. Ugh. Versus get get all you can take. Another terrible song. Them trying to be Led Zeppelin. Man, I told you I'm gonna have to be picking songs I don't like over songs I don't like, and I'm gonna be picking the pompous. Wouldn't you like to know me? It's such a pompous tune, and it's so I hate that riff. I hate everything about it, but. Seriously, get all you can take. I think it's even worse. Wow. Paul's got two. It's a tie. This is going to be an interesting one. All right, then we got Take Me Away Together is one really bad. Lonely is the Hunter is, oh, man. That one sucks. Badly. I'm going to give it to that. Man, Take Me Away is terrible, but I'm giving it to that one. Ouch. Ooh. All right. It's all right. I love that song. This is a song that, this and Tonight You Belong To Me are, I love those songs. Those are the only two songs I love off this. And Under The Gun, damn it. You know what? I'm giving it to Paul. I mean, I love Under The Gun, man. I really don't want to pick, but man, I, I think It's All Right is a better tune. And I love Under the Gun. See, I'm even picking like good songs over great songs. Ugh. Well, great songs over great songs. Hold Me, Touch Me. How the fuck is that going to win? That song is fucking horrible. No way. I don't even know what's the next song, but I predict, even if it's a shitty song on Animal Eyes, it's going to win. Thrills in the Night. Oh, you know, a lot of people like that one. I don't. I think it's a piece of shit song. I hate Paul's voice on it. But I'm picking it over fucking, uh, Hold Me, uh, Hold Me, Touch Me. God, that song is, oh. All right, this is an interesting one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, boy. Love and Chains versus... While the city sleeps. Now, I know I've seen a lot of people point at Love is Chains. That's a great song. And I've seen a lot of people point at While the City Sleeps. That song sucks. Well, I disagree with both of you. 
I think Love and Chains is weak. And I think While the City Sleeps is a great song. I do. So I'm giving that one to Emma. Ooh, it's a tie. Which means this is going to be the tiebreaker. Which one's going to win? Whoever I pick next will win. Because it's a tie and there's only one left. Goodbye. Terrible song. Versus Murder in High Heels. Wow. 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 The winner. Because Murder in High Heels, I'm sorry. I'll take this crappy goodbye song over that any day. And yes, I am aware. A lot of you love Goodbye. I've heard you, many of you say Goodbye is a great track. I was subjected to that crappy song when I saw the Miami Kiss Convention. They played that stupid song. But there you go. Paul Stanley beat this one by one. Not two great albums. I still like this one more. Because of Under the Gun and While the City Sleeps and, and uh, I've Had Enough, Heaven's on Fire. Four great songs. This one I don't like too. But, luck of the draw, and shitty song beat shitty song. This was interesting. And But hey, you know, leave uh, your comments below. I know a lot of you love the Paul album, so I'm sure it's going to do way better. It's probably going to kick Animalized ass way more than it did on mine. And I'm interested to see it. I keep listening to this Paul album. Don't think I'm not giving it a try. More than any Kiss album. This one, and then Unmasked. The other two I keep listening to a lot, hoping it'll grabby but so far no good but uh what do you guys think leave your comments below of uh your track by track on both of these albums and uh this thing's coming apart here and uh please i have a paypal below if you'd like to donate since i don't monetize this channel and don't subject you to stupid commercials be great if you donate a little bit i like it and uh it'll be good karma for you and please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell and you'll get notifications when I put stuff up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Schmack em a cob. This video has been brought to you by Miami Metal Merchant. For your metal needs at competitive prices, visit MiamiMetalMerchant.com. Tell them Dr. Fuck sent you. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault. We're on Spreaker, we're on iTunes, and we're on YouTube. Check it out and subscribe. Hey, headbangers, you want your own radio show? Well, you got it. On Thursday nights here on that metal station, join me on the Dr. Fuck Show. Go in the chat room, and I will make you my co-host. That's right. Everybody that joins me in the chat room, I discuss whatever you guys want to talk about. I'll mention your name. I'll say what you say, and we're going to go back and forth, and I'll even fucking play whatever request you want, unless it sucks. Then I ain't playing it because my show rules and only songs that rule is allowed right here on that metal station. The Dr. Fuck Show airs live Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. Well, no, no, fuck that hope. I better see you there, motherfucker. Looking for some new podcasts to listen to? Well, Rat Sound Review Network has plenty of shows to choose from. Like Rat Sound Review where they discuss the latest rock and metal news, as well as interviews and albums. Album vs. Album, the King Diamond Podcast, with Wayne Noon, Greg Noggle, and sometimes this guy. Smack him a gob! Ralph Vieira is also on our network with the Vieira Vault. There's also Old Man Metal's Musings, where he discusses heavy metal and beer. Music is Life with Lou Mavs. The Right Opinion for Those Who Love Politics. A South Park podcast called Suck My Balls. The Infinite Fringe. A watch-along wrestling show called Beyond Bushido, ex Stradivarius guitarist, the Timo Tolki podcast, and the great Harry Barnett with I Don't Even Like Podcasts. So check out RatSoundReview.com or search RatSoundReview on YouTube, Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and more.